Hey everybody, welcome back to Terramator Gardens. Today we're venturing to the fascinating world of mantises. To me, one of the most intriguing species around, the Texas unicorn mantis. This unique insect is named for its little horn, like projection on its head, giving it a truly mythical appearance. Here's an interesting fact to start things off. The Texas unicorn mantis has incredible camouflage abilities. Not only does its green and brown body blend seamlessly into its surroundings, but it also mimics the movement of leaves swaying in the wind. This combination of camouflage and mimicry makes it a master of stealth, perfect for hunting prey and avoiding predators. The Texas unicorn mantis is a medium-sized mantis species native to the southern United States, particularly Texas, as well as parts of Central America. Its most distinctive feature is a small horn-like projection between its eyes, which resembles a unicorn's horn, hence the name. The mantis is usually green or brown in color, which helps it blend into vegetation. Its body is long and slender, with leaf-like extensions on its legs that enhance its camouflage. These mantises can grow up to about 2.5 to 3 inches in length. They have a characteristic triangular head of mantids with large compound eyes that give them excellent vision. Their front legs are equipped with sharp spines, perfect for catching and holding onto prey. They thrive in warm, dry habitats like scrublands, grasslands, and even gardens. These mantises prefer areas with plenty of vegetation where they can hide among leaves and branches waiting to ambush prey. They are also commonly found in regions with a lot of dry, grassy areas which match their natural coloration and offer ample hunting grounds. Like most mantises, the Texas unicorn mantis is a sit and wait predator. This means it sits perfectly still using its exceptional camouflage to blend into the surroundings until suspecting prey gets close enough. When an insect comes within range, the mantis strikes with lightning speed, grabbing it with its spiny front legs. Its diet consists mainly of small insects, including flies, moths, grasshoppers, and even, man and even other mantises if the opportunity arises. These mantises are solitary creatures, and in the wild, they are highly territorial. They rely heavily on their camouflage for both hunting and protection, and while they are not aggressive towards humans, they are formidable hunters in their insect world. One notable behavior during mating season is that females, like many mantis species, may sometimes cannibalize males after mating, although this is less common in Texas unicorn mantises compared to other species. If you're thinking about keeping a Texas unicorn mantis as a pet, they can be fascinating additions to your collection. They don't require much space, but you should still provide a well-ventilated enclosure that's at least 12 inches tall and 8 inches wide. Fill the enclosure with branches, sticks, and leaves to mimic their natural environment and give them plenty of spaces to climb and hide. You'll also need to mist the enclosure lightly a few times a week to maintain the proper humidity. The ideal temperature range for a Texas unicorn mantis is between 75 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit with slightly cooler temperatures at night. Since they are solitary by nature, it's best to house them alone. One thing to keep in mind is that mantises are delicate creatures. While they are fascinating to watch, you should avoid handling them too much, as they can be easily injured. That wraps up our introduction to the Texas unicorn mantis. These incredible insects are masters of disguise and make great pets for those looking to observe the fascinating world of mantises up close. Thanks for tuning in, and be sure to like, subscribe, and comment if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. See you next time.